Good morning, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing this morning? I woke up at five, a little after five. <sighs> but I feel good, so I must have got all the sleep I needed. Ain't that right, babies? All right, let me tell y'all now. Today, we are going to be doing some clay. Now, just to let y'all know, I ain't never tried to make nothing out of clay except for that chimney and for the mushroom house. And it really didn't look like a chimney. But I remembered that I had this. This is the Christmas rolling pin. It's got trees and snowflakes. It's, I can't really see upside down. Um, maybe I need to turn it this way. Well, anyway, it's got angels. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So I thought we would try this today, since I've never done it. So I went back and forth. I said, like, I don't know if I want white clay or then I got terracotta. So I decided with the white. Now, this is air dry clay. And you see I have it in an airtight bowl. Because, honey, I don't want it to dry out. See, it's got this rubber ring around it. It makes it airtight so your clay won't uh, dry out. Now, I'm going to need a big chunk of chunk, I think. Now, my pen, from this circle to this one, let's see, six inches, I believe, is what this pen is. Just a little over six inches. So, I want to make my, um, probably, I want it, you know, big enough. Probably, I'm going to make it eight inches. That way it can roll and get the edges and everything. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, Lord, to be. That's what I'm hoping, honey. Mm, I just don't whack this bag all the pieces, ain't it? You see, ain't much took out of here. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Now, I already know what I forgot. And it's going to be my little rolling pin. It don't have anything on it, so I can smush it out. I'm going to just get me a block. Get me a little end off. Oh, gee. And roll that out. That should be, should be good enough. Close this back up real good. Put it back in here. Did y'all hear that air mash out? It sure did. All right, I'll be back. Let me go get my other little rolling pan. All right, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> it was right here under my feet. So I'm just going to try to manipulate it with my hands first to warm it up, maybe. This may not be enough, but. This clay was just sitting in there, and I was like, oh, yeah, we got to make something out of this. So, I figured, I re well, I didn't figure. I remembered I had this Christmas rolling pin that I think I got last year, but um, it came in after Christmas, so there you are with that. I started to go ahead and do it anyway, but I didn't. Now, I don't want them paper thin. I want them kind of thick. Let me get it in the middle. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying, though. I'm going to try. But I know I don't want them thin. Try to get this around the edges. Let's see. Oh, yeah. But... I'm going to want, I want it thick, you see. I'm just pushing it down with my hand, trying to get the pieces that I just put on there in with the other piece. There we go. I might need my big rolling pan. Because this one's leaving lines. See, I don't like that. I don't know what that is, but. I don't like it. Okay. 
I think I'm going to get my big rolling pin, y'all. Hold on just a second. All right. I'm going to show y'all. This rolling pin, that little red one I was just using, and this mat came in this kit. Rolling pin and pastry mat set. You get a 17-inch rolling pin, an 8-by-5-inch rolling pin, and a silicone pastry mat, and two cooker cutters in that. And I'll put it down in the description for you. Now, I'm, it. I'm trying not to make it too thin. I don't want it thin, but I don't want it uh, too thick. I'm thinking that's going to do it. I just don't like those cracks, you see. I don't like it, but I think that's going to be it. I'm going to measure with the other rolling pin. It's just that middle seems a little thick to me. Wow, that looks like the United States. Shaped like the whole United States, don't it? <laughs> okay, let's see here now. I think that's going to be big enough. I'm going to stand up. Oh, God. Now, it's on there, I think. I'm going to push down. Uh-oh. I don't know. I'm nervous. <sighs> All right, push down. And I'm going to roll. Oh, look. Oh, my good God, look. I'll be right back. All right, I got this little tool kit here for clay. So, I'm going to come along and I'm going to cut my... Oh, that one didn't do good. Let me roll it out because that didn't, that didn't do good. It's got like some space is missing and I don't like it. So I'm just going to roll it out and do it again. Okay, here we go. I'll go real slow this time. Yes, yes, that's perfect. Now I'm going to take this, I guess, that's what I use, and I'm just going to cut the excess off. Now, whoever does clay, please let me know if I'm doing this right. I mean, this is the only way I know to do it. So, I'm just going by my instincts, that's, that's it. And we're going to ball that up. So we can put it back in our in our clay. Now these is not the whole thing, so I'm gonna go right in here and cut this off. All right. I like this mat actually. Okay. So far, so good, ain't babies? So far, so good. Okay. Let's get that. Get that back in our clay. We'll come right along here. And cut this off. Get that back in there. Oh, look at it. I'm going to take my little knife and mash it like that. Try to smooth it out. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to cut this end off. And we're going to have three ornaments. Three Christmas ornaments, baby. Now we got that. Oh, Lordy G. I'm excited about it. I don't know. I woke up and I was like, oh, I got a Christmas rolling pin. So, I 
do like this mat. All right, now then, I'm going to just cut them. Now, this side's thicker than this one, but hey, it's okay. No big deal. And then when they dry, which don't take very long, it really don't, then we'll come back. See what they look like. And we will uh, either paint them or leave them like they are. You know? They might be pretty just like they are. I'm just going to mash through that first and then come through just like that. Just like that. And we'll cut them off. I'm glad I remembered these. Okay. Now, I don't know if I have anything to lift it up with in this little kit. You know, it looks like I would have a little spatula or something. But I don't see one. So, maybe this. See, this is like a... I don't know. We finna see. I'm going to very lightly pull, take my knife or whatever this is, and go under it and give it a little pull. <gasps> There's our first one. There's our first one. That it, oh, my God. Is that not pretty? Do I have it upside down? No, that's right. I think that's Noah's Ark. I'm not sure. All right, let's get these up. This one says Merry Christmas. Look at that. Look at that. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's so pretty. All right. Figured if I use the white clay, uh -uh, see, see that way off. Just take your finger, smooth it out. Now there's that one. That's the one with the angels. Oh look! Oh, ah! honk 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 honk. All right, let's see. Oh, I should have been using this knife the whole time. Okay. Okay. Oh. <gasps> what this one is. This one is Stars and Jesus' Manger. Look at that. And the, and the three wise men, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what it is. And this is Jesus' Manger. Oh, that is adorable. Come on, camera. It wants to focus on everything else. Look at the camels. Oh! Oh, Lordy. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm just tapping around the edges. Now this one, I think it's Jesus in the manger. See in the middle? Not sure. I can't really see it. 
maybe I can tell after we put some color on it. If we put color on it, because I don't know, I like it. I do like it plain. Let's get this. Oh, sweet. That one. Oh, oh Lordy. This is so pretty. <gasps> no. Here we go. Oh, y'all. I'm excited. I might get some terracotta and do a terracotta one too. Because this video is only 15 minutes long so far. And when we come back, oh, look at that. When we come back, um, this will be dry and I can move it and we'll make us maybe some terracotta ones. Maybe. Now, I'm going to get my clay back in the bag. And when this is all dry, I just want to tap right here because it's got little edges on it. There. If you see any little scraggles sticking out, just mash them in. Mash them in, baby. Or cut them off. Put it back in your clay. Okay. This one's a little scraggly. Take your little, whatever you're working with, take the flat side and mash it. Not hard. Just lay it up against it and pull like that. Just pull it. And it will sh get rid of the um, jagged edge. That's what I'm going to call it. Jagged edges. Okay. All right, darlings. I'll see y'all when it cures. All right, babies. It's not fully dry yet, but I wanted to show you how I'm making my holes. So, I want to make sure I'm not putting them upside down. <laughs> Put my hole on the wrong thing. I'm thinking it's going to be this way. Okay. So, I take this tool here. And I just make me a hole while it's still a little soft. It's still a little soft. But it's getting there. It's curing. Wiggle it around and around. Pick it up very gently. And push the tool in until the hole is as big as you want. See that? It'll make you a hole, babies. Look at that. Then I turn it over. Take the same tool. And just pull the hole out like this. And get that excess off the back. Okay. Just rub it off. Then I go back in. And do it again. And pull my hole. Pull the excess off from around my hole. And just pat it down. And that's it, babies. That's how you put a hole in it. You can take anything and put a hole in it. There it is. I'm going to turn it the right way. There we go. Got a hole. I can't wait. I'll be glad when they get dry. I had the um <clears throat> fan on medium blowing on it. So, uh. I'm going to turn the fan back on. This is just my practice piece that I did with my paint pens. I tried chalk, the liquid chalk. That's the white. Then the yellow is um, acrylic paint pens. And no, this right here is alcohol paint pens. And this is acrylic. So I think I'm going to be going with the alcohol because I like, I like the way it looks. Anyway, I'll be back, loves, when they're all good and ready. All right, babies. They're still just a little bendy. I don't want to mash them because I will break it in half. Now, 
I remembered I had these alcohol uh, ink markers. Let me show y'all. I got them from Five Below. They was $5 a piece, 12 in each, and they have dual tips. See that? Five bucks. Five or below. Mm hmm Now, this one right here is skin tone colors, and this one is just assorted colors. Okay? Lovely. And you don't have to shake them. They already ready. Because I I thought, I was like, oh, i got to shake it. But you don't. They're, it's already in there. Now, you have a little skinny end. And then you have a wedged end. Look how big that is. That's big, ain't it? Now, let me find me a color for the skin. Oh, that wasn't supposed to go in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That goes in here, I think. I'm not sure. I don't got them all mixed up now. But anyway, let's get this white. Oh. It's a habit, shaking my pens. See, you don't even mash them down because there's nothing to mash. It won't mash. So I guess you just get to painting. This says raw silk. What? But it don't look like the, don't look like the ink is in the tip. See, it don't push. I'll be gonna mess it up. Let me just do this right here and see if I... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sure didn't even look like a color. All right, I'm gonna do... Um, I want to do the boat and brown. So, I'm gonna do these horns for the angel that they're holding up here. I'll do the horns in that color. And, um... Then, I'm gonna have them all mixed up. I already know. And then the yellow, I want to do the stars here. And they work good on this clay. I already, I did the Merry Christmas one just to see how good it would do. And they do great. Five bucks and you get 12. It's not bad. And they're dual dual tips. Mm -hmm. So let's get the little stars going. I was going to use acrylic paint, but you have to water it down. And I'm like, I'm not doing all that. Okay, there's that. Now let's see if I got a brown. And we'll do the boat. Should have a brown. I got a black. So I need a brown. Oh, great. Telephone. It's just going to have to ring. Um, Let's do it in black then. That's not black. Where's my black? Here it is. We'll do the boat in black. I might better go see who it is. Might be my mama. But let me get this boat first. Let me call her back. looks like a boat. I guess that's what it is. Looks like a boat. May not be. Whatever it is, it's getting painted black. Y'all see how good it does on this clay? I couldn't believe they were so cheap. I was like, uh, I'm going to get them, but I bet they're not worth the crap. But they are. They really are. Pretty good. All right, let me get y'all down so you can see what I'm doing, babies. Oh, come here. Got y'all way up there in the air. All right, now. Got to do their clothes. That looks like a don't look like a manger. It looks like a, one of them black pots. What it looks like. Let me get these angels um, closed on. Let me use this color. Oh, I thought I had. Okay, I'm just going to 
can go in here. I just want some color, color on it. Because it's uh, Christmas. Now. Here we go. I'm going to finish this one and then I'll pause. And then when I come back, it'll all be done. What? Ain't that the truth? Now I just want like a mild. Let's see what this is. A mild. Oh. Oh. Blue gray. Okay. Oh, yeah, I like that color. It looks black on the tip. Look at that tip. Looks black, but it's not. It's like a blue, greeny color. Blue, green. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I got these now. And this black is going to uh, mix in. That's okay. It'll give me some. Little shadow. Look at that. Now let's get this. Wow, it's cool that they blend. Huh. Now when I'm done painting all of them, you have to uh, put a coat over them. You know, to seal it. So I'm going to be using, I'll show you. I'll show you in just a minute. Hold on, let's see. Hold on one second. Well, it must not have been important. They didn't call back, did they? <laughs> All right, now, stars is going to be shining on this. So, jeez. Oh, so, I'm just going to make this yellow. Just trying to get some color in there, really. Now, let's get his uh, cane. Get his cane. There we go. Just a little bit right there. All right, honey darlings. Now, you can do the background. The background's textured like it's the sky. And you can do the background if you want. Look at that. Now let me show you what I'm going to seal it with. I'm going to seal it with this. But i got to find my little... Oh, crap. Oh, crappity. There it is. I'm going to seal it with this uh, UV varnish sealer. I love this stuff. I love it. Now, if I got a light blue, I might do the background of that light blue. Let's see what I got. Yeah. Let's just do it to it. Now, to let you know which one's the um, tip, this is thick tip. See? That's thin tip. Ain't that something for five bucks? I'm shocked about it. I really am. I'm shocked about it. I'm going to try and probably mix some the color up up in here. You know, to kind of blend it in. Let me see. I love these things. I love them. Well, I'm thinking I done messed up. I shouldn't even try to do the back. But I just thought it'd be so pretty. I'll just put a border. How about that? This one's going to be a little messed up. But you don't know if you don't um try it, right? So, yeah, here we are. 
I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, I got inspired by Claire's Sweet Sale, Claire's Crafty Corner. She used a, a rolling pin, I think, with deer on it. And that's why I ordered this one. I said, oh, and that's when I ordered my clay and everything when I watched her video. Because I thought they was gorgeous. Now, honey, mine ain't going to be as pretty as hers is, but... You know, I just wanted to try. I just wanted to see what it looks like. And by doing it this one time, I will learn what not to do next time, like this background. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Almost done, babies. And when I come back, all of them will be painted. Well, I don't know. I'm starting to like it now. <laughs> I'm starting to like the background. <laughs> and they're not all the way uh, cured. So, if you paint yours before they get cured, just be gentle. Just be gentle. Y'all know i got a heavy hand. But I'm trying to catch myself before I push. Because you don't push these markers. Just let them flow. Alright. I'm going to have to hit that boat up again. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, let me get off up in here. Just give it a hint. All right. All right. It's hard to see this uh, ring on this one. Because it's black and the marker's black. I don't see it's too black. Mm -hmm. Touch this boat up. Okay. And that's it. That one's done. What y'all think? Should I have left the background alone? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So, all right, babies, I'll be back. All right, babies, I got them all painted. And I'm going to be using a UV varnish sealer to make them shine. I just put me a little puddle in the middle. See how um, it's not shiny, you see. So I just put a puddle in the middle and I'm just going to put it on. And this will seal your ink. Plus it will make it shiny. Make it shiny and pretty. I love this stuff. I love it. It don't take much. And it don't smell like UV resin. <laughs> and it cures hard. <laughs> So there we go with that. Now I'm just going to hit it with a lot. Move that out of the way. I don't want to cure it. Just going to hit it with this light. And cure it up. You don't have to paint them. You can leave them white. Or whatever color that uh, clay is. Wasn't it white? I think so. Um. They're not 100% dry, but once they get almost there, you can paint it. And they can paint it while, I wouldn't think you could paint it while it's still, you know, at the beginning stage. You might mess it up, but anyway, there we go. I didn't cure the rest of them, painted the rest of them, so here's this one. Oh, how pretty. See? That's cute. Love it. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to poke my hole because I got UV resin in it. And then here's this one. Look at this. Oh, come on. Okay. There's that one. Precious. 
so cute. And I just took a black marker and ran, went around the border. You know, just to make it have a little something, something. I didn't do it on this one, though. There's that one. Mm -hmm. And this one. I love this one. I think this one's my... Well, I don't know. I like the Merry Christmas. I like that one, too. Now, this one I do love. So, I think I got two favorites. This one and this one, I believe, is going to be my two favorites. I think. <laughs> I, it's hard for me to choose. I love this one. I do love that one. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty. And then we had this one. Oh, I like that one, too. And then we have this one with the trees. Mm, 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 mm. So, there you are, baby dolls, embossing, uh, drying clay, get that rolling pin, how about that? So, there we are, I still feel it sticky on the side there, but anyway, thank y'all very much, my sweet loves, I'm going to just cure that and wipe it off for watching, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up, please. All right, on the blessing board for October is Miss Barb Ridings, Miss Brenda Levi, Miss Margaret Woods, Miss Stacy Snorf, um, Miss Jenny, and Miss Frances Carpenter. All right, shout outs Miss Cat Wood, Color Bloom Art. Go look at her paintings on Instagram. They are beautiful, y'all. Cosmic Carol Creations, India Brady Art, Art by Me by Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cabbage Patch Soap, Beaten Crazy Custom Creations, Tiger Moth Resin, Stacy the Crafty Cat on Instagram and on TikTok at SSMURF1018. Go look at her beautiful tumblers. Now, Miss Frances. Not Miss Francis. Miss uh, Billy was supposed to be on the blessing board. I put, did I put it here? Oh, there it is in a little right, and that's why I didn't see it. Miss Billy Holman's on the blessing board, too. All the, the ones on the blessing that sent me a blessing are already in the Monkey Coconut and in uh, Rosie the Sugar Squirrel. At 2,000 subscribers, we'll pour them all back together and uh, draw for the 2,000. All right, continue prayer. Miss Sharon Davis said her, her surgeries went great, so that's awesome. That's great, Miss Sharon. I'm so glad, baby. Miss Billy Holman, um, pray for Miss Billy and her family. They're having some going through, you know, some trials and tribulations. So let's pray everything works out as it should. Okay, uh, Miss Christina Hutchinson's daughter's having a baby in February, so let's pray everything goes good. Miss Rose and her mama, and on the coffee board for September is Miss Deidre Bumister and Miss Christine Stogsdale, the dainty doer, and they're in the monkey coconut too. Okay, and that's that, my little machines, and I'm gonna put everything that I used down in the description. Okay. Everything I used is going to be down there. All right. So just hit the little down arrow button. And um, it'll open up and everything will be up under there. In case you don't know where it's at. All right, loves. I love y'all very much. And um, I appreciate y'all watching. I do. I appreciate it so much. And I love all your comments. I love it. Y'all are inspiration to me. Y'all keep me wanting to do something or wanting to try something new. Y'all do that. Yes, you do, and I love y'all for it. Thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube family and my friend. And God bless you all. Because mm -hmm. he has sure blessed me with you. Yes, he has. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's get this one. And don't get that. All right, the message for today is you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you 
because he trusts in you. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 30. On the other side, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Amen. Shine your light on me, please. Oh, please and thank you. All right, my sweet angels. I will see y'all on the next video. Let me know what y'all think about these uh, air-dried clay uh, uh, Christmas ornaments. Lord, mercy, I went blank. Let me know which one's your favorite. All right, babies. I love y'all very much. I'll see y'all next time. Peace, love, prison, happiness, babies. Bye.